This is problem two from one of the homework sets. We're looking for <clears throat> a confidence interval. We know that the mean is 43,106 and the standard deviation is also given. We're looking for the 92nd uh, percent uh, degree of confidence. Uh, so here's the idea. We're thinking that we've got a population whose mean is, is uh, 43,000. 106 and whose standard deviation is given. Uh, we're going to take a sample of size 50. That's going to give us a sample distribution of sample means. Its mean will be the same as the mean of the original population, <coughs> but its standard deviation is quite a bit smaller. It's going to be whatever this uh, standard deviation was divided by the square root of the sample size. Okay, that that squishes this uh, distribution together quite a bit bit more. Now what we're interested in doing is is finding a situation finding this value right here and this value right here these two quantiles so that the part in inside of here is 92 percent. So what we're going to need to do is either look at a Z distribution or a T distribution. Because the sample size is large then <clears throat> and because we think that this was normally distributed, we'll probably use a, a Z distribution. Some people would still insist on using a T distribution. So what we need to do is worry about that 92%. Uh, then the alpha is going to be a 0.8, so I'm going to have a 0 0.04 up above and a 0 0.04 down below. And I can then use a quantile. Here's a couple places where I was playing with the quantile. There's the quantile that I would need in the T distribution to find this value right here. Okay. If I was using it as a Z distribution, there's the quantile that I'd be using to find this value right here. Now notice that those two numbers are really very, very close. That's why people are saying that when N gets large, then you could probably use a Z distribution. I'm just not sure which way the, the programmer did that. I've got some other kind of clumsy calculations here in my Z table. Don't worry about those for right now. It turns out that uh, I discovered that our programmer was using a, uh, a Z distribution. So uh, this is a situation that we're going to use. So that value right there, um, well, let's see if we can find where we've done that more effectively. He, here, if we took a 1 minus that value, then that's going to tell me this number right here, which really is the E value. Okay. There's where my E is. It's, um, so, there's a where we, uh, that, well, I'm sorry, that's not really what the E is. That's the number of standard deviations we need to be away. So we need to come up here to find out what the E value is. So the E value is really this distance right here. And we know from that calculation that we did down here, that's not an E, this is where the E is. <laughs> uh, we know that that E is the number of standard deviations we are away from the mean. So, so the E is going to simply be this amount times the standard deviations in this distribution. There's the standard deviations in this distribution. So it's that amount times the standard deviations in this distribution. Now we've got the E. Now it's easy to find the others because I'll just take 43 1,106 and add E to it. To